Hello, my name is Stan Becker, and I'm a professor in the Department of Population, Family, and Reproductive Health, and head of the faculty in the population health area. I've done work in demographic data collection and estimation of fertility and child mortality in developing countries. Today, we are highlighting the work of uh, some of our faculty. I'd like first to introduce Lee Liu, who is an assistant professor in the department. Lee? Thank you, Stan. Hello, everyone. My name is Lee Liu, again. I'm a population health researcher conducting research to um, address leading causes of child mortality. I approach that topic area through the following four research and teaching interest topic areas. The first one is actually to measure and estimate all cause and cause specific child mortality. The second one is to study and practice to strengthen civil registration and vital statistics systems. These are the systems through which routine vital statistics, such as child mortality, are collected. The third one is an in increasing uh, interest area of mine, which is to investigate the biosocial etiologies of child mortality. Last but not the least, I also teach introductory and advanced quantitative and demographic methods. For example, I teach one course named Methods and Measures in Population Studies in the fourth quarter, and there we actually discuss direct and indirect estimation techniques of child mortality estimation using survey data. Lee, what can you say to students who are interested in the area of population and health, and could you give examples of how you've used demographic methods in your own work? Certainly, Stan. So for example, here is a slide that shows the global uh, cause of death distribution among children under five years of age in year 2015. To actually produce this pie chart, a group of researchers who have a lot of knowledge about health and population work together. For example, we need the health knowledge to understand what are the underlying cause of death. We also need to know what are the uh, number of deaths that are due to each cause so that the global health community can make informed decisions about what policy to enact and pr what programs to implement to improve child survival. To actually get those estimates, we need to also understand what is the under five mortality rate and what is the number of live births globally in 2015. How did we come up with those estimates? We actually used demographic methods. I actually cover some of those methods in my course, which was previously mentioned. Another really important aspect that I want to stress is that nowadays, academic research or scientific research is increasingly collaborative. For example, to produce this pie chart, we worked with researchers from the World Health Organization, UNICEF, United Nations Population Division, and other academic institutes. We also worked with a team of graduate students who tirelessly identified and extracted cause of death data from the literature. Those data then later feed into a very sophisticated biostatistical model, which then produced the estimates that you see in front of you. So I would probably say that you know, collaboration is the key, and also, better yet, those uh, graduate research assistants is oftentimes financially supported. And given sufficient contribution, they also lead to potentially um, peer-reviewed publications as well. If actually I may summarize, mm -hmm. um, in my view, population and health are two intric intricately connected disciplines. So we are here to provide not only the multidisciplinary training, but also the interdisciplinary research opportunities that you would need to become successful as a researcher or practitioner in population and health. Thank you, Lee. Thank you so much, Stan.